As many of you know, I've talked about the Terra Luna Classic price for a very long time. We've been down this road and we're getting into the bull run and we're going to get a crazy, crazy number out of it. I don't know what that number looks like. I'm not sure where the market cap ends up going. What I do know is that the, the world loves a comeback story. So I think that we're going to be fine ultimately and what's going to happen. But today we're going to talk about what would it take to get to a dollar. And I'm going to try to simplify this. It's, you know, complicated math shit, but I'm going to try to simplify it for you as best I can. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button on the way in. And if you don't like me and you think that I'm out of my mind because I'm putting out here uh, Luna Classic to a dollar on the um, thumbnail, I don't care. Tell me how you think it's never going to happen in the comment section so we have it for posterity purpose, baby. All right, let's go. All right, so the question right here is Terra Luna Classic reverses tax mechanism uh, lunk to $1. Um, so when the reverse tax happens, we're putting out our PPJ proposal to review and assist with the testing of the past protocol reverse charge mechanism for simplified tax handling on Terra. Okay, so um, this allows... Uh, according to the updates on Orbit Lab's official count, the work on implementing this on a paper job basis focused on fixing interchain tests introduced in SDK 0.47, as well as carrying out comprehensive code overview of the community per reverse charge mechanism. Overall, the developer at Orbit Lab set a $2,500 budget for the work to be done. Despite the favorable L2 development, uh, Terra Luna Classic price value has been lagging with a slight increase of 2.2% over the past 24 hours. While keeping above a $500 million market cap, the altcoin competition has been fierce for Lunk and as the altcoins continue to dwell above crypto's top 150. Now, uh, because it's in the top 150, it's going to, by the way, we, don't, we still don't have a website, so make of that what you will, but um, we're, we're struggling. I mean, I think that everybody should see that we're struggling, but a lot of cryptos are struggling. You know, you, if you take out maybe Solana, if you take out you know, a couple of others, um, Crow uh, just had a huge spike of about 75% in one day, consolidating at a, at a much bigger level than it was before. But, you know, it was a dollar at one point. And just a couple days ago, it was at less than 10 cents. So, you know, a lot of these cryptos just have not had an altcoin explosion, Luna Classic, among them. But we did have one a while back, went to a couple billion dollar market cap. So we know that that's possible. And we should consider that when this market really starts to send and we get an altcoin season, then it would be easy to see a, a simple 10x in market cap. So that would put us at about 5.5 billion market cap. Now, in the event that that is the case, and I'm just kind of presupposing here that that's what would happen. Then we would take our current supply, which would be 5.46 trillion Luna Classic. And we would take the market cap, 5.53 billion. And we would reduce that by 546. That would give us an effective price of basically 10x from, from where we are right now, which would mean two zeros, one. So in order for us to get to a penny, a penny would require 10x from where we are right now, how do we accomplish that, right? Well, that comes down to market cap. So could we get to a $50 billion market capitalization? Because if we were to do that, then we would add a zero into this line here, and we would do that math again, and we got to a penny. So at the current supply rate, in order to get to 2.8 cents, which is the prediction that I gave you a long time ago, we would have to have a market cap of 165, 166 billion market cap. And let me tell you something, that's not going to happen in the current dynamic. So now we have to look at supply. Where does the supply come from? Well, here's the problem with the supply. And we'll get to, to, we'll get to the update here in just a second. But right now, just consider this. 2.3 trillion tokens are held by Binance. 1 trillion are staked right now. And then you have a much smaller wallets, but you know these add up to another trillion, okay? So let's just consider, if you will, that holders get minimized and we do a significant amount of burn. Well, then you're talking about the, the supply being reduced to about 4 trillion, right? So we go back here and we do that same math. Let me change that five to a four and we turn it into four trillion. And what does it look like there? 13 cents. So even at a $55 billion market cap, reducing 1.46 trillion more 
only gets us to 1.38 cents. So now we've still got a significant row to hoe, if you will. So 55 billion market cap, 4 trillion supply gives us 1.3 cents. So we are going to have to burn an enormous amount of supply. And let's go back and let's look at what we've burned so far. 388 billion. We have that done since May 13 of 2022, which means over two years. And we should also recognize that that burn, the 251 billion of it was done on November the 4th. So ultimately we haven't burned nearly anything at this point it's basically been voluntary burns to this point and we've got to figure out a way to get more burn going and that's where the USTC to Luna Classic Repeg comes in and how aggressive we are at burning the supply so first let's talk about reverse charge reverse charge allows the tax to be done post transaction so if i sell a billion Luna Classic tokens for whatever the price is. The, point, the price is going to be irrelevant, but I sell a billion tokens. Then the billion tokens are taken away from me and then in theory put into the community pool or the Oracle pool as distribution requires. However, what we would be looking at is after that transaction, what if we took 10% of that supply and we use 10% of that supply of Luna Classic and we put a little bit into the Oracle pool we put a little bit into the community pool. Um, I meant liquidity pool, by, by the way, at the beginning. Uh, and then we use a small but significant portion of that to burn USTC. Consequently, if we get, let's say I have a million USTC and I sell a million USTC. And then after that, the same thing happens. After the transaction, 10% of that gets taken out. A little bit gets put, gets put into the Oracle. A little bit gets put into the community. And then a little piece is cut off in order to buy Luna Classic and burn it before it goes into the liquidity pool. So that is the method by which it needs to happen. And that's the method that the reverse charge would in theory allow to happen along with this repeg. And we're trying to stabilize uh, USTC and peg it to a dollar. I don't think that that's possible under the current scheme because it requires too much money. If you just grant here that it would require for, for $1, we have 5.56 billion USTC to supply. But let's just say, for example, we get some really great news, right? The really great news is LFG right here burns their 1.84 billion tokens. And then Terraform Labs, still holding on to 290 million, burn their 290 million as well. So let's just say that we burn 2.1 billion. Well, we come back over here. I think that that 1.8 billion is already out of this number. So we would have to reduce that. Donald Trump has won the 2024 election and will be your president, the first pro-crypto president. Bitcoin currently trading at around $87,000. This is the ideal moment for effective management of your own investment portfolio. Since 2019, Cryptonomy has experienced exponential and substantial growth with revenue closing near 2.4 billion euros and insurance coverage of up to 6.1 billion on all company assets. Now listen guys, the big move here for me, in my fixed staking pool, I'm gonna go all in on a little bit more XRP. I've got 5,900 XRP right now. I'm gonna go into the nine month for 71% return. We're gonna continue. We stake close to 6,000 XRP just now with a 71.8% return over nine months. This launch pool is blowing up. As you can see right here, open serve just went 7X. Getting a significant yield off of that. We got 1.9 on Satoshi Dex. We had a 2.58 on Tap Protocol, 2.1 on Talent, 3.1 on Cross, all right, guys, we're going 10 Ethereum into a bronze tier contract end date November 12, 2025. I expect to make a return of at least a decent amount, 50% profit sharing. When we got that last one, it was 7X. So I'm going to assume here that this is going to be a real good play. If you haven't already, don't forget myself, Dean DCA, Clay. Lift Capital, Aaron Burke, we're all doing articles uh, for this organization. So if you are interested in learning a little bit more about cryptocurrency, then this is the place to go. You want to go to cryptonomy.finance slash research. Also, if you haven't already, sign up for their Telegram. The links are in the descriptions down below. And in the next two weeks, there's going to be a couple of big updates brought to you by all of us regarding cryptonomy.finance. Start investing now. So ultimately, we would still be looking at $5.2 So market cap would have to be $5.2 There is no way that that happens. At best, you could peg it maybe to $0.02 cents and algorithmically start doing that. 
But again, when you do this, the reverse charge, I'm going to get complicated with you here. Uh, it, so you buy and sell Luna Classic or you buy and sell. Remember I said we're going to put a little bit into the Oracle pool, a little bit in the community pool, and then a little bit's going to be used to burn. But what if we took another little piece of that and we took that little piece and we use that to buy Bitcoin or some kind of stable asset? Okay. And the purpose behind that is to create a, 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 a treasury that would support price action to a minimum level. Remember, it's algorithmic, so it's not going to be actually stabled. Um, it, it's going to have to be a variable. It can't be called a stable coin because there's regulation for that. But you know, let's just say that the, the attempt here is to peg. Well, uh, you, you peg it to two cents right now, and you buy and sell and trade back and forth. And look, there's 28 million in trade volume right now, but there was up to 100 million just recently. Imagine how much would have burned in those couple of days but let's also consider that in the, those couple of days, we'd have to get it off of Binance. Why get it off of Binance? Well, because we have a big problem with Binance, and that is they have $2.36 trillion in supply. We have to cut that supply significantly, so the trading is going to have to be done off-chain. I hope this is making sense to you guys. However, so here's what it looks like ultimately. When you get to a dollar, we've got to reduce the supply by about 97%. That's really what's going to have to happen. 99% gets us to uh, 554 million. We're at 5.46 trillion right now. So if we reduced it by 99%, that would be about 550, 546 million. So we'd be right there at the dollar. But we don't have a way to reduce the effective supply by 99 cents. And we can't do that because let's go back over here. And we'll, they'll, people will be incentivized to unstake. But remember, we still have a trillion staked. So the, the amount that you have staked, people would have to be incentivized to take them out of staking in order to sell. And that's a 21-day unbonding period. So you know, there's a complicated problem. There's a lot that's going on here to try to make this happen. So I hope you guys are still with me. And I hope I haven't lost you now because I'm talking crazy. But to get here, it's going to be a real, real, real pain. And I don't have an answer for 3.4 trillion tokens I mean, again, if we just go back over here and we start looking at, and by the way, it should be about 4 trillion tokens total because, you know, again, these other spots here, they all have, you know, plenty of, uh, they, they have plenty of supply. So, um, you know, what do we do? That's, that's ultimately what the question is. Like, what do, what do we do here and how do we get there? So the first thing is uh, we're going to have to, number one, figure out what's going on with the ceramic uh, Luna Classic USTC repeg. What does the burn mechanism? The only thing that matters to me is going to be that burn mechanism. And, and it's important to get it back together. But the, the burn mechanism is the thing that's going to matter the, the most. And from, from my understanding, USTC would be replaced with USTY for a moment. For a moment, there's a we'll talk about it once the full white paper is out, so that we can kind of explore. And I'm going to be taking my notes from Strathcole, Happy Caddy Crypto, those guys, in, in order to get an idea before I formulate an opinion. I'm going to see some other people's opinions first. Um, but the discussion for um, for this whole thing is going to be on Commonwealth tomorrow, according to Ceramic. So uh, we'll really start to dig in and really start to try to figure out what it would look like and how much could effectively be burned each and every time. But, you know, guys, here's what I ultimately the purpose of this is, is it possible to get to a dollar right now? And the answer to that is an astounding. There is no chance we would need to have at least a four trillion dollar market cap. Bitcoin doesn't even have a four trillion dollar market cap. But when we start to take zeros off and we get from four trillion down to 40 billion. Um, you know, that's a that's that's way, way, way down. But that takes it from a dollar to a penny. And that's more doable. It's just a matter of reducing the supply now. Currently, reducing the supply is just untenable at best because we don't have. The, we need more trade volume. We need to keep. You know, we need to keep working. Speaking of working, if you're not working, then you should be gambling. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You should never do that. You should never worry about your risk-based gaming. What you should always worry about is how can I make a little bit of cheddar? Uh, and if you if you if you're looking for it, Multiplier Rush is available now from for, until November 17th. Uh, sponsored to you by Terra Casino and B Gaming. Also uh, giving away two billion euros, uh, two million euros uh, over the next couple of days in the World Poker League. So you have until December 22nd uh, to get that done. And of course, all your famous cryptos you can use. Uh, so make sure that you 
go there. And also terraport.finance as you're going through. You see there's we're starting to get a spike here out of Rocket. Uh, a couple different favorable pairings are starting to run. So uh, if you want to trade some meme coins, you want to get yourself, you should have a little bag of meme coins, by the way. Um, let me check my uh, wallet here. Uh, it's up from yesterday. Still not great, but up from yesterday. So, you know, we've got a little bit of a spike happening. Uh, it, it should continue should continue over the next couple of days, weeks, and months. But if you want to trade, then you can do that. Uh, you can also do farming, uh, liquid staking. And then, of course, you have um, the original staking here, which, by the way, uh, I have 23 hours before I unlock. Uh, and then you have the launch pad. The launch pad, I currently have an average of 85.44. So a couple more days, and I will have 10,000 total. And then we'll be uh, farming some uh, synthetics platform from Selenium, and, uh, you know, maybe we'll get in early on that. So uh, in the meantime, we've got a lot of burn to go over and we've got a proposal up for the next bunch of days. Um, I do think that we're going to spike. I've told you before, uh, I'll give you a quick chart readout. Uh, we're at 10.164 right now. So, you know, just to give you an idea here, we have pumped a little bit. Uh, we're up $33 billion on the day. Bitcoin is, is just erupting as of right now. Again, one more time, we're about to hit 90,000. One more time, uh, we're about to push our way to 100,000 is basically what I think is getting ready to happen. Uh, but Luna Classic right now trading at 10, 157, down 2% on the day. Uh, we got a spike right here, uh, by the way, uh, when you look at it from from this 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 impulse move uh, we've had double tests right here on the top of this range look right here is that volume node and we've banged off of this twice so far but we've minted higher lows as we're coming up so uh, i think a breakout is imminent i stand by exactly what we said right here we're gonna absolutely just annihilate this number pretty soon uh 3016 to 3018 is going to be the next impulse move uh you heard it here first uh but you know once that's done then uh, you know, we'll get an idea of what goes on after that. The market is starting to soar. The market is starting to pump. Bitcoin at 90500 right now. So um, that's it, guys. Uh, good luck. We'll uh, talk to you soon. Uh, this is not financial advice. I'm always right. I'm, I'm working my way through this. We'll get you some real details about that repeg. How do we get to a dollar? How do we get all these things that are going to make life grand for all of us going forward? Um, the details are coming in. They're scarce right now, but they won't be scarce for long. It's about to get crazy. So uh, we'll talk to you again very, very soon.